Welcome to Airborne on StAugustine.com, bringing interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. We're here at Eclipse Recording Company with a very special guest. As always, I want to welcome back Carrie Del Rey. Carrie! Thank you. Good for to see you me. again. It seems like you've just been here. I know. <laughs> Move things around a little bit. You're very busy, you're very active in the community, and we love all the things you do for us from the Old City Farmers Market to much more. But you're doing something very special this time. You're kicking off an event, mm -hmm. and I wondered if you could tell our viewers uh, about the event. I understand it's a Daddle Festival. It is. Um, it's going to be the first annual because we want to do it yearly, mm -hmm. and I'll get to why in a sure. little bit. But um, we wanted to do the Daddle Pepper Fest because the Daddle Peppers were started here in St. Augustine. Yeah. And the Menorcan from Spain brought off of these seeds. And right. so anybody that you run into that's like a real local in yeah. St. Augustine, their mother makes a dal pepper salsa. Yes. They make hot sauce. That's true. They grow the plant and they're impossible to get. And, uh -huh. you know, one guy's like, oh, my grandmother makes a great dal pepper alligator tail thing. You oh, know? yeah. I mean, so. Yeah, yeah. And chili in chili, it's unbelievable. Chili. Oh, uh, the Menorcan uh, clam chowder has oh, yeah. dal pepper in it. You know, yeah. just it's just... It's constant in St. Augustine. Those who might be uh, viewing from outside of the area, too, because we are on the World Wide Web, um, may not be familiar with the Daddle Pepper, but it has a very distinct sort of citrusy flavor. It's actually a very flavorful hot, hot. pepper. It's yeah. hot, baby. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely hot. But, yeah, and all the locals, know, and I think that even the tourists love to hear about it. Oh, yeah. You know, and, like, love to... When they come into the market, most of those sauces that have it in it, even my guy that does the jelly. Yeah. You know, people, the tourists will buy it to bring it home and say, oh, this is a daddle pepper. It's only, you can only get it in St. Augustine. And, yeah. You know, and it's a hot sauce. And when they come back the following year, they get it because they ran out. I mean, it's really is, it's a really neat thing. It's, it's definitely, it has such cultural appeal. Mm -hmm. and, and I love it too. I mean, having grown up here... Uh, every family has a little different way of making it, exactly. and so there are all these different... Someone puts a little more molasses in their sauce, or someone's yeah. secret ingredient is Worcestershire in their sauce. A secret, and, because oh, I man. tried to get some recipes and everything. Oh, yeah. Secret, no, no, so. no, no. That's family stuff. Yeah, so don't ask them for yeah. the recipe, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, and that's beautiful. I mean, right then and there, I mean, discussing a, a Daddle Festival is a wonderful thing, but you've got bigger plans. You've got bigger reasons for doing this, don't you? We do. I, my husband and I and my entire family are very concerned about the oil spill in the Gulf. And I know that everybody is. Right, so I, so. I know yeah. that's And that's why we want to make it annual because I think it's going to be something that's going to be a problem for a long time. So how did Daddles and this oil spill mix? We, what are you doing? We partnered up with um, the National Wildlife Refuge Association. Mm -hmm. And we've been working with them very closely. And we're going to have all the proceeds go to them. Mm -hmm. So we thought this is a great way to have St. Augustine, you know, use the Daddle Peppers to help out. So again, one last time, it is Saturday, July 24th mm -hmm. at the uh, St. Augustine Beach Pier. And from noon till nine, that's really going on, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a day's worth of festivities and events and all There's that. a lot of things that we have to fit in and we want everyone to yeah. be represented properly. Fun so. and activities, but also for a great cause. Yep. It's going to raise money for the National Wildlife Refuge Association. That's is it. that what you said? Mm -hmm. And this is to help people who are going to be cleaning up our uh, friends, our, our animal friends for many years to come. Mm -hmm. So I know you, you, you do things with a long range view and this is the first annual. You hope to do many more of these. I just wanted to do it right away, mm -hmm. start it, and I didn't know how to help them other than St. Augustine to represent, yeah, just yeah. right away. And this town has just got a history. Perfect town to do it. Oh, I mean, they have history. such a big heart. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So uh, you like this sort of thing, huh? I do, well, especially if it's going to go to a good cause. I mean, even when I do the farmer's market, it's our local farmers, yeah. you know? So yeah. I feel it's, I don't make any money from it. It's like a community service, right. you know? So right. I do, I like it. You just give. I do. You give and, and the it universe makes... gives back, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, you know, it's kind of, I I really do. So. Carrie Del Rey, Thanks thank again, you so Matt. much for coming again. I really again. appreciate it's it. A and real everyone pleasure. else, you know, everyone that's helping out is really appreciates oh, this. Oh man, we're looking forward to it. So. This is going to be a slam dunk and a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You've been Airborne with Matt Jeffs on stagustine.com, bringing interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. See you next time, everybody.